Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's July 26th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for being here this week. Thanks for having me, Mike. Markets got a, a nice last dose of economic data before going into the July FOMC meeting, which is happening next uh, Wednesday and Thursday. What did we learn? Uh, so yesterday we got GDP numbers uh, that actually came in hotter than expected. With quarter over quarter, quarter it was about 2.8% uh, increase versus an estimated 2.2%. Uh, um, you know, going into today, uh, it was really the heavily anticipated um, uh, economic number. We had the um, Fed's preferred measure of inflation, uh, the core PC index, which was actually in line with estimates. Uh, we saw a monthly increase of two tenths of a percent and an increase of 2.6% on the year. So as we enter next week uh, with the FOMC meeting, I think the Fed has more data to, you know, cut um, rates in September. I know a lot of the conversation has been how many cuts will we get? Will we get another one in December? But um, I think next week we'll get some clarity on that. And some analysts thought there was a chance of a rate cut next week, but I think the hotter than expected GDP uh, will put uh, put an end to those talks. Right. And, uh, you know, the Fed is continuing to just look at the data and it really feels like day by day, week by week. So we'll, we'll continue to keep an eye on it. Very good. And over looking over to the uh, municipal market again, factors there a little less reliant on the the week to week economic data, a little more reliant on the uh, fundamentals of and uh, technical factors of supply and demand. Another heavy week of issuance last week. Uh, what deal stood out to you? This week we had about twelve billion priced. Uh, Central Texas Turnpike and Santee Cooper kind of led the way there. For BAM, we had fourteen transactions for one hundred and four million of par. The the transaction I'd like to highlight was the 26 million Northern Arizona University project, and that was with RVC. And then just going into next week, we have about 8 billion. So, you know, I would say that's relatively heavier on an FOMC week. (laughs) I think we're used to kind of seeing just a few billion there. Um, But you got New York City Geo leading the way there. Uh, And so for BAM, we got a $70 million Upper Trinity Regional Water District in Texas, and that's with PNC. And then a $48 million Northern Palm Beach County Improvement District in Florida. And that's with Piper. And just to highlight a couple of smaller transactions back in the same uh, higher education sector that, that produced Northern Arizona last week, we're also going to see a $42 million transaction from Heinz Community College in Mississippi. That's through the Mississippi Development Bank and uh, $29 million across two series for the University of North Dakota. So we'll see how those transactions uh, price next week. Again, demand seems to be pretty strong. We're right in the middle of a, a seasonal flow of uh, a principal and interest payments coming back from issuers into investor pockets. And we also saw another strong week for uh, cash and flows into mutual funds, right? Yeah, we had uh, about $866 million, uh, in Libra inflows. Um, and that's actually back to back, almost a billion in inflows, which feels like it's been quite some time since we've seen that. So um, we'll, again, continue to kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, and again, we got some heavy supply, uh, but the demand is there. Uh, we got issuers coming to market still. Yeah, I mean, and that is playing into the line that's been said really all year long, that issuers are going to try to front load their issuance, get into the market before the fall election season, with the concern that there might be volatility around the election that, that could interfere with the markets, interfere with their pricing. Uh, we're certainly seeing uh, strong evidence of that in our public finance department. I know the underwriters at BAM are reporting a lot of incoming transactions, a lot of large incoming transactions that are looking to use insurance. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. Uh, we may not get into the summer doldrums this year. It might be a, a, a sprint right to uh, October 1st and into Q4. So we'll see how that plays out. Thanks for your time. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Mike.